Did you know that the Cowichan Valley Museum and Archives is celebrating Canada's 150 with the opening of a new Asian Canadian gallery? We have been working on plans for several years to renovate the museum and the first gallery to be revealed is a media installation called Do You Remember Me? We've worked with communities from around the Cowichan Valley, including the Chinese Canadian community, the Japanese Canadian community, and South Asian Canadian community. And all of their stories um, are going to be included in not only this first phase, but in the second phase of our work. We were lucky enough to meet members of the Wong family. Uh, the, the members came up to us and gave us some fantastic uh, artifacts. For example, um, we have a head tech certificate that belonged to their mother. And um, a lot of people might not know what that is, but it had to do with the exclusion of the Chinese at a certain time in Canada's history. So uh, this was a local example of that. The same family, the Wong family, donated their mother's rice grinder and also the pot that she cooked rice in. The Cowichan Valley had a very strong uh, Japanese uh, Canadian community um, prior to World War II and after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, people of Japanese ancestry were uh, interned um, and they lost everything. Uh, so there's very little evidence of it, but one of the things that we have is absolutely lovely and it's an autograph book that belonged to a member of a pioneer family here and in that autograph book are four Japanese names of four little girls. The city received as a gift this lovely um, origami installation. It's a thousand birds that represents a thousand years of peace. It's a really, really lovely thing uh, that the museum was given. Duncan had a very unique community called Paldi, and it was started by um, Mayo Singh. It was a logging town, but it became unique because it was one of the first multicultural communities anywhere. Um, at Paldi, people from uh, China, from Japan, uh, and of course South Asians worked there together as well as Europeans uh, at this logging town. And in fact, it was so unique that they even had their own language that they created. Over the next year, you're going to see a lot of changes here at the Couch and Valley Museum and Archives. We received a Canada 150 grant for $81,000. That's going to help us to renew our permanent galleries and to celebrate the communities of the Couch and Valley. If you'd like to visit the Couch and Valley Museum, you can visit Wednesday to Friday from 11 to 4 and Saturday 1 to 4. In the summertime, we'll be open seven days a week from 10 to 4, and that's mid-June to mid-September. And we're located here in the Heritage-designated Duncan train station.